How ayahuasca helps with depression. If you were clinically depressed and someone offered you an opportunity to be only 18% as depressed as you are now in just one single day with no side effects or ongoing medication, would you take it? Because that is what some of the latest science is saying about the efficacy of ayahuasca for treating depression. The data that we're seeing about ayahuasca's healing potential for depression is nothing short of revolutionary. It's so remarkable that even mainstream news outlets like CNN and BBC are reporting. So let's dig into the science of how ayahuasca helps with depression, in particular three recent studies that have shown some remarkable data on ayahuasca and depression. But first, take a second to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have amazing content coming out all the time about the rapidly evolving psychedelic space. Let's start with the biochemistry of ayahuasca as a thick, viscous tea typically made from two plants, the vine and the leaf. The biochemistry of the brew is very complex. Ayahuasca has several MAOIs, beta carbolines, and lots of other psychoactive compounds besides DMT. We really don't know much about them. However, we do know that DMT increases something called BDNF, or brain-derived neurotropic factor. This helps you to grow new brain cells. We also know it lowers activity in the default mode network, or DMN, which is part of the brain that can get stuck in overdrive in people with depression. It's at the source of rumination, or repetitive negative thoughts that keep people in a negative spiral. By reducing the activity of the DMN and stopping the cycle of negativity, new possibilities for healing the core issues around depression emerge. It becomes possible to have new thoughts, new behaviors, and find new solutions. So now let's take a look at some of the most recent research about ayahuasca. The 18% number at the beginning of this video came from a Brazilian study looking at how ayahuasca affected depressed people. They found a single dose of ayahuasca decreased measures of depression by 82% in participants and that the effect lasted for at least three weeks. Study number two. A 2019 study in the Journal of Psychological Medicine was titled Rapid Antidepressant Effects of the Psychedelic Ayahuasca in Treatment-Resistant Depression. This title explains it all, doesn't it? It only looked at the antidepressant effects of ayahuasca in 218 individuals for one week. Now, just to offer some critique of the study, one week is not a very long time if you're someone who's been living with depression for years. They also gave the ayahuasca without the ceremonial context, which is not exactly ideal for a transformational healing experience. Even so, the researchers found a highly significant antidepressant effect just one day after taking ayahuasca that was maintained the entire week after the ceremony. Study number three. Finally, a massive study took a deep dive into the data of almost 12,000 individuals to see how ayahuasca affected their lives. This is the single largest study on the effects of ayahuasca so far, and that 70% of people with anxiety reported that their symptoms were very much improved or completely resolved. For context, that is nearly 250% more effective than pharmaceutical antidepressants and with none of the side effects and all of this in just a single session. Clearly, ayahuasca has remarkable potential for healing depression. But before you get all excited and rush off to the jungle, please be mindful of who you choose to work with. The practitioner or shaman that you work with is very important to the overall healing process. So choose wisely because there's a lot of money involved, there are a lot of fake shamans popping up, there are a lot of people who are taking advantage of those who simply don't know better. So if you feel called to work with ayahuasca, make sure you work with a reputable practitioner or retreat center. Third Wave has a fantastic directory of trusted, vetted providers complete with reviews, their therapeutic orientation, and different options for working with ayahuasca. And you can find that at thethirdwave.co forward slash directory. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the third wave of psychedelics, subscribe to this channel and visit thethirdwave.co where you'll find plenty of free resources on the intentional and responsible use of psychedelic medicines.